hello everyone so now let's see the other thing if you remember we already learn about the telnet ssh how we can enable in the asa firewall and also in our previous class we learn https also how we can enable now we need to learn how we can access the firewall asa firewall by using the ftp okay we can use ftp tftp and we can take the backup configuration backup and restore we can do many thing so now let's do the basic stuff what i done if you see here this one is a management cloud cloud zero i taken this one and this is connected to my physical laptop physical desktop and this is application i am using 3c diamond this will work as a tftp server ftp server syslog server also and he is listening on the 192.168.38.1 so this range ip i am going to assign to this interface so we can communicate so this application can take the backup and store in my uh, physical hardware so what i will do i will go here in the asa firewall and then i am going to check first of all the interface whatever interface we are using if you see we are using the e0 and e1 e2 we did not use so now i am going to configure the e2 i will go in the global configuration mode i will write interface e2 ethernet 2 i will write ip address and then i will give here let me give the ip 192.168.38.100 we can give anything but i am using this uh, nat cloud okay cloud 0 and this one is having the range from 192.168.38.1 that's why 38.1 so that's why i am using the same network so they can communicate and dot zero and then i will write name if any name we can give dmz i am giving okay security level they set to zero and if we want we can change also anyhow we will see if we face issue we will change the security level in the real scenario we will enable inside zone here we are going to enable okay ethernet one we are going to enable this one but anyhow for lab purpose i connected here so let's see that one i will write no shirt and let me write show ip so we have the ip this ip now let me try to configure or take the backup let's see i will say copy copy running okay running configuration i am going to take in the tftp okay let me press enter source file he is saying i will say running configuration address or name of the host where we need to save this one so this is the address okay 192.168.38.1 so i will give this 192.168.38.1 i will press enter destination file name what we need to give i can give this is a asa underscore backup okay we can give any name and if you see this one is done successfully and if we go here you can see this one 192.168.38.100 this many bytes is copy here and receive from the ASA firewall if you want the location where it is safe we can go and check this is a folder in C drive okay if you want I can copy this one let me copy in c drive users user desktop and the backup so i have one folder backup in the desktop there it is going to be safe okay so let me check that one where is that folder this one if you see this is a backup just now what i taken this one let me open if you see yeah this is a backup whatever i taken this is a backup okay so this way we can do the backup and if you want to restore we can restore also same thing uh, we can do let me show you that also if you want to do the restore or if you want to do the what we can say startup configuration what we done just now running configuration we done right whatever is running configuration if you want to copy the startup configuration we can do that one also let me save this configuration even if i did not save i have two configuration one is the currently running one is the startup configuration so i can do both i can do both so now let me restore okay if i want to restore how we can restore 
let me change first of all here i will change the host name is uh, firewall host name is firewall i change now i need to restore the configuration so old configuration i have so i will write here copy and then uh, which protocol we are going to use tftp okay tftp and then what we need to restore start of configuration if you have doubt you can press question mark ftp tftp let me show you and press enter and press question mark what we need to do running configuration okay yeah running configuration i need to copy give me the host name so our server name 192.168.38 where we have this data 38.1 what is the file name what file name we give same file name we can give here this one i will rename i will put this same file name okay source file name destination file name i will give same as it is and they are accessing and if you see it is restore before what we name we have if you see this is the name before okay here i restore the configuration when i restore the configuration i have the original name whatever we have before so this way we can take the configuration backup and we can restore the configuration backup in the asa firewall what i done here just i use the some commands i use this uh, what i can say tftp server 3c diamond okay this is free application in the real scenario we can take many different also available paid version but for the lab purpose i use this free version okay and this is the important command what i done here this one copy running configuration to tftp server and give the tftp server ip address and whatever name you want to give for that file after that it will uh, store in that location when you want to restore just copy from where we need to copy from the tftp server and uh, then press question mark if you have confusion write here question mark you will see lot of option you need to write in running configuration startup configuration where we want to keep so i told running configuration and they asked me to give the server ip that is uh, tftp server ip i keep here they are asking give the file name because i have lot of files here i think this one backup one backup two this one three file i have so i give the same file name after that it takes some time then it restore and if you see here we have the old configuration okay so this way we can access the asa firewall by using the tftp server we can use ftp also we need to create user and do that one same concept okay already we know this in our ccna ccnp level just i am showing how we can do in the asa also okay thank you bye